and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really fun, very colorful look for you today and it is inspired by the newly released um, Card Captor Sakura um, clear card um, anime that just came out. I am so in love with it. I got really inspired by the first time she summoned her dream wand um, in clear card. So I wanted to create a look inspired from it. I mainly pulled from a certain screen cap. Um, I'll put it here. And I pulled from those colors and I wanted to recreate them on my face today. Um, very light but colorful kind of pastels um, with little like crystal tears and I really hope you like it um, and yeah let's get on with the tutorial so I'm gonna start off by priming my lid and I'm just going to use a white concealer and a very very little beauty blender to uh, kind of start my base and I'm just gonna put a few dots of that concealer and then just blend it out with my itty bitty damp beauty blender Now I'm taking a piece of tape. Make sure you stick this on the back of your hand or a piece of clothing before you stick it on your face so it doesn't rip your skin. But I'm just gonna use that so we can have a nice clean edge. It'll be nice and sharp when we take the tape off. And now I'm going to be using a beautiful amount of rainbow colors starting with a bright yellow and I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my lid um, because I have hooded eyes I want to kind of open my eyes and look forward and place that eyeshadow above where my crease is just so that when I do open my eyes you can see the whole effect now I'm taking a bright green and putting that next to the yellow blending in. Um, I'm not, you know, saying what palettes I'm using or anything like that because honestly you can use whatever you have. If you have these colors, awesome, you can create this look. It doesn't matter what palette you have, what pigments you have, what brand you have, it doesn't matter. Just find something with some really pretty colors and create this look. Now I'm going in with a really pretty tealy blue color and blending it into that green. And then lastly, taking a medium toned purple and just finishing that off. Like I said, the tape will keep everything nice and crisp and clean. So that way you don't have to worry about going back and cleaning it all up. I already had my face stuff on, so I was not in the mood to have to like clean it up and then like retouch it up with all my foundation and junk. Then I'm going in with a shimmery ivory color and I'm going to add that as my brow bone highlight. Also blending the edges very lightly with that color just so they're not so harsh. Um, honestly, if you want it to be harsh, you can let it be harsh. Um, I just blended it a little bit. Then going over with a mid-toned pastel pink, I'm just going to add that onto the rest of my lid blending it into the rainbow colors and then I removed the tape and I love how crisp and clean the line looks and then 
that I found the smallest eyeliner I could possibly find for my eyebrows and I'm just going to draw on some normal eyebrows. I'm not a big fan of normal colored eyebrows but for this look and for this wig I was going to match it and I just set it with um, some light brown eyeshadow as well just so it'll set and it won't go anywhere and it also gives it a more natural look. Now taking a nude coal pencil, you can also use white if you want a little bit more of a dramatic look. And I put that on my lower waterline. Then following with a blue liner, I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Now for the liner, I actually used a wolf um, activated paint, but you can use white liner, um, whatever you have that can create a really fun white wing liner. I thought it would just add something different and more magical to the look. So I am putting that on a very thin brush and it's just activated with water. It dries down completely and I am absolutely in love with the Wolf water activated paints. Now I'm going in with some eyelash glue and some rhinestones and I'm going to be dazzling my face just putting a little bit of glue on the back of a brush and then going over with the rhinestone and I'm going to do kind of like a teardrop kind of effect just straight down because I mean clear card it's very glittery very shiny. I, and I, I love glitter. What can I say? I love glitter. I love rhinestones. I love sparkle. And I didn't have any of that in this look. And I was like, I need sparkle. And I also put one on the inner corner because I have no self-control. Then I went in with some false lashes, which were the devil because I poked myself in the eye 4,000 times. And then some mascara to blend it all together. I used the Benefit Roller Lash, which is my favorite mascara right now. Now I'm moving to my face because the eyes are done. So I used the um, Victorian Sirens Glow from Corpse Cosmetics, and I'm going to use that as my highlight. I'm going to be putting my highlight before my blush just so everything blend seamlessly. As you see, I got really excited because this is a blinding highlight and I love me a blinding ass highlight. Put it on my nose and my non-existent cupid's bow and my chin just so I can be glowy. Then I took a light pink blush and just loaded up my cheeks. I even added a little bit on the tip of my nose just for that cute kind of like innocent anime look which I totally don't have but I mean I can try. I, I can hope and try. <laughs> now the lips. I wanted something simple yet anime inspired so I'm using Maple Blondie from the NYX Butter Gloss and just putting that on my lips. And then taking a red liquid lipstick and putting it on the inner portion of my lips to give that ombre anime look. So that is how I did the um, Card Captor Sakura inspired look from Clear Card. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. Also, click the little notification bell just in case YouTube decides it doesn't want to let you know that I have a new video up. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have not seen Card Captor Sakura or Card Captor Sakura Clear Card, I highly recommend you do. They are available on Crunchyroll and you can see all the previous series, which I'm currently watching because um, I, I haven't seen the original. Uh, <laughs> But I fell in love with uh, Clear Card, and my friend of my friends have been trying to get me to cosplay from um, Card Captor Sakura as Mei Lin. So I wanted to look at the series, and I am in love. It is so good. K 
Kero-chan is the most adorable little thing in the world, and that's why I have like the little kitty ears um, to represent Kero-chan because he's, oh, he's so adorable and little. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, Song Current Shirl, check it out. You will love it. Um, it's adorable. It's an OG magical girl anime, and if you like magical girls, uh, like I do, you will love it. I don't know why it took me so damn long to find it and watch it. Probably because of all the episodes, but you know what? I'm speeding through. I am doing the thing. So yeah. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I'm still gonna be putting up content. Even though I believe my partnership will be taken away because of views and stuff like that. Whatever. But you know what? I'm still going to create content. I have a lot of ideas. Um, I'm still filming on my phone. But you know what? I'm just going to keep trucking because I'm just, I've been in a positive mindset lately. And I'm going to take advantage of that fully. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!